Oh, nice, Amy. Hover in the hands, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying not cheating. Hi guys, I'm Roxy, you know me as Layla. Thank you so much for joining me today for our fourth and final class of yoga at Emmerdale, courtesy of People's Postcode Lottery. I really hope you've enjoyed the previous classes that we've done. We're gonna be building on what we've already done in those classes today. And um, I hope you've been feeling stronger, calmer, and that they've been helping you with any of the New Year's resolutions that you might have for a healthier, happier 2021. We've got a really special guest today. I'll get on with introducing her in a sec, but I just wanna say, I hope you have a lovely, lovely final class. And thank you so much for joining us. So here she is, here's my special guest, Amy Walsh. Hi. So excited about Amy being with us today because we've been doing yoga together for a long time, haven't we? Ever since we met, you introduced me to it. Really, did I? I'd never done yoga before until I met oh. you. And it was like a bit of an eye opener because I always just thought, I haven't got time for yoga. And if I've got half an hour, I need to do a big workout and go to the gym or, you know, burn the calories. And then you introduced me to it and we would get quite a sweat on, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, you'd always sweat. She'd be like, ah, oh, got to redo my makeup now. <laughs> in the middle of lunch break. <laughs> and I realised just how good it is for your, for your mental health, obviously. But um, physically, like it changed my shape and my, yeah, my body completely. And I love it. As an extra, I still do, you know, cardiovascular stuff, but I, I do love it now. I couldn't be without it. And... That is thanks to you. I feel really proud of myself. And now. you're a really good teacher. Oh, thank you, Amy. Stop it. But um, <laughs> I feel really, and I don't know about you, that like it does really help calm my brain. Like if I'm in an emotional state, if I'm dealing with a really, really busy schedule or I'm dealing with something that I'm finding quite difficult, I can get really overwhelmed. And that happens pretty much every day. Um, so taking a little bit of time to do the yoga, physically, obviously I feel less stressed, but mentally... I feel yeah, like and it energizes well. you, weirdly. Like, we would do it in the middle of a, a long working day, you know, 12 hour day, and we'd do it on our lunch break when all you want to do is sit and eat, but actually, 20 minutes. Or 10. Quick... Sometimes we'd just do a little quick 10. Yeah, we did. We would say, Should we throw down for 10? Just quick 10. And we always felt better, didn't we? Yeah. So, one other thing that I wanted to ask you is have you got any resolutions? this year um yeah i mean i always always say be kinder to myself and that includes um with health and fitness you know as well as various other areas of life but in terms of listening to my body and doing more yoga um and things that are, are, are better for my body sometimes than throwing myself around doing a hit or or going to the gym. Um, I really want to just listen to what my body needs because often those kind of exercises leave me in it with aches and pains and I know that yoga gets rid of them. So I will do more yoga in the new year for sure. Yay. I mean, I still do quite a lot anyway. And I think what you just said then is really interesting about being kinder to yourself. Because yeah. I think I read once that like, um, if you had a friend that said the things to you that your brain says to you, about you, you wouldn't speak to that person because you can be so negative and so hard on yourself. So I really like that point about just trying to be kinder to when, yourself and listen to your body. When we do sessions and the last few times we've done them, you've said this at the end, what do you say? You are whole, you, you are, are perfect. You are perfect. You are complete just as you are in this moment. The first time you said that in a class, I really needed it that day and I nearly cried and I nearly cried. <laughs> Sometimes you need your friend to say that to you and you need it at the end of a yoga class. And sometimes you need to say it to yourself. And I think that's what this should all be about. Like, yeah, it really sat with me and like, just two minutes to yourself. You are perfect. You do not need to change who you are. Just be you and love yourself in the right way. I love you know. that. I mean, what about, I mean, there's no, nothing else to say. That's just the perfect way to I think end our little chat and get going with our class. I Should we throw it. down? Grab a cushion, grab a blanket, because you might need them. And don't worry if you can't do all the poses, just do what you did last week or the week before. Yeah? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. We're going to start seated on our cushions just to help elevate the hips, lengthen the spine. When you're ready, come to a comfortable seated position. Take a few breaths. Inhaling deeply and exhaling fully through the nose. 
Feel the inhale. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, relax the face. Tuning in to your breath. Becoming fully present. We're going to start sinking breath and movement now. Inhale, reach the hands high overhead. Gaze up. Exhale. Hands come down. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, hands coming down. Inhale, suck the abdominals in and up. Exhale, hands coming all the way down. Pause, feel the body. Now we're going to come onto our knees and you can use your cushion, pop your cushion on your heels and sit on it. If that doesn't feel good for you, stay in your comfortable seated position. You can do the next few moves from there. Okay, so we're going to start to warm up the spine. Fingers on the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, draw the hands back on the thighs, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, inhale. And then exhale, fingertips to the knees, take the spine to the wall behind you. Just flow into the rhythm of your breath. Inhale, open the chest, squeeze. Exhale, hands move forward, spine to the wall behind you. Let's do three more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhaling deeply, exhaling fully and come to neutral, palms turn up, take a breath, feel the body. Now bring the fingertips onto the shoulders so the elbows are in line with the shoulders. And we're going to do the same movement. We're going to inhale, reach the heart forward, squeeze the elbows towards each other. And then exhale, take the spine back, drop the head slightly and then draw the elbows towards each other. Doesn't matter how far you come here, elbows don't have to touch. Inhale and open up. Exhale and just flow into the rhythm of your breath. Only go to your first point of resistance, don't push beyond it. Find your edge, breathe into that stretch. Nice deep inhales and full exhales. Let's just flow together for a few more rounds. Take your attention inward, feel the body, feel the vertebra. And last one the end of your next exhale, release the pose, take a breath, feel the body. Now we're going to remove our cushion. We're going to do a nice little side stretch, you know this one. Uh, well, you know them all, don't you? You've done them all with me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think you like this one. So we're going to, first of all, reach the right hand high to the sky, energised all through the right arm and the right side waist, F left fingertips to the floor next to you, and then inhale, reach over to the left. Option to go a little bit deeper and push your right bum cheek off your heel. It's up to you. Do whatever feels good. Now take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take another deep inhale and exhale. Slowly and with control, return into centre. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So left hand reaches high to the sky, energised through the side waist and the arm. Right fingertips come to the floor. Inhale, take it over to the left. Push that left bum cheek off your heel if it feels good for you. I do love this one. Ah, yeah, stay. I knew she did. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Coming back 
to neutral. Pause, feel the body. I can really feel that tingling in my fingers. I love how it stretches out this bit because I'm always so tight around there. Let's take a breath <sighs> and exhale. Right, come into your child's pose. So knees can be mat distance apart or knees can be together. Fold forward. I'm just going to move back on my mat a tiny bit here. Fold forward into your child's pose. Exhale fully. And on your next inhale, just walk your fingertips to the right. Take a deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> walk the fingertips to centre. And on your next exhale, then inhale, walk them over to the left. Breathe deep. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and then walk the fingertips back to centre. Come to seated. Feel the body. Now we're going to move into our cat cow. We're just going to do a couple of rounds. So hands press down actively into the mat. Really push the floor away with the hands. Engage the core. So feel like someone's just poked you in your lower abs. Then inhale, take the gaze up. Don't jam the neck. Nice and gentle with the neck. Exhale, squeeze the forehead and sacrum together. Inhaling up. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, exhale, suck the abdominals in and up, squeeze, let's just do two more, inhale deeply, exhale, squeeze, keep pushing the floor away with the hands, Inhaling and exhale. Take your bum back to your heels, pause, take a breath. Feel the body. We're going to do a bit of strength work now. I think you've done this one before and you guys, if you've done the previous classes, you'll definitely have done this one before. So it's our half downward dog. So we're going to actively press the palms of the hands into the mats. The arms are nice and strong and then we're going to tuck the toes mm -hmm. and then feel like, you know, I always say this, feel like someone's just poaching in the bum. <gasps> feel like someone's just poaching your lower abs. Mm. And then you get your core nice and engaged in the pelvic floor. So push the floor away and then really slowly with control, we're going to lift the knees. Just come up halfway, exhale down, four more, inhale with control, connect with the core, exhale coming down as slow as possible, feeling it in the thighs, the arms, the core, coming up and down, last two, stick with it, inhale, exhale nice and slow. Last one, inhaling up, exhale, come all the way down, bum to the heels, pause, feel the body. <sighs> that looks so slight, that movement, but it, it engages so many muscles, doesn't it? I always I think when you do something really slow and with control, it works you so much harder yeah. than when you're just powering through stuff. Speaking of which... Let's come down into Cobra. So we're going to bring the fingertips just underneath the shoulders, draw the elbows into the body, actively push the floor away with the hands. Now I know this is a spine strengthener, but for now, really push the floor away with the hands, try and relax the spine and lift, just using the strength of the arms and the shoulders, just coming up a few inches, can you feel it? Oh yeah, in the biceps. And then exhale, <laughs> coming all the way back down. It's what, triceps. Well, yeah, it's triceps. Inhale, slowly rising up. Only do as many as feel good for you and only come up as high as feels good for you. Exhale, slowly coming back down. Let's do three more. Inhale, rising up. Keep pushing the floor away with the hands. Keep squeezing the elbows in. Exhale, coming down with control. I feel a bit shaky. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Really squeezing intense. Squeezing the elbows. Inhale, rising up. Squeeze the elbows in. Exhale, slowly coming back down. I don't know if this is five, but this is our last one. <laughs> <laughs> Push the floor away. Inhale, rise up. Squeeze. 
Exhale, come oh. down, make a pillow with the hands, take a breath. I'll feel that tomorrow. <sighs> so we're going to do our cobra again, but this time we're going to focus on the spine, developing that spine strength. So we're going to bring the fingertips back underneath the shoulders, draw the elbows into the body press the pubic bone down actively into the mat and that helps avoid any lower back compression. Shoulders away from ears, inhale, rising up just a few inches. So this is like sit-ups, but for the spine, exhale, slowly coming back down. Actively point the toes away from you, inhale, rising up. Feel that the hands are feather light on the floor, so they're not pushing down too much now. They're not taking the weight. It's okay, even if you just come up a few inches. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, flowing down. Last two, inhale, rise. Pause. Exhale, oh nice Amy, hovering the hands, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying, not cheating. Inhale, rising up, I'm gonna do it now. And release, make a pillow with the hands. And take a deep inhale and exhale. Now we're going to do your definite favourite, Amy, a little bit of core work. Mm -hmm. So there's two positions you can take with the arms. You can either hold your arms just above the elbows, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders. Or you can interlace the fingers and walk the elbows back under the shoulders, whichever one works best. Are you going to go with this one? Yeah. Let's all do this one then. Yeah. So we're going to press the pubic bone down actively into the mat. And then very slowly, we're going to lift from the core just a few inches high into the sky and then shift the bum back a few inches just towards the heels and then slowly coming all the way back down. Did you feel it? Yeah. That is actually harder than plank pose. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Because all the work's in your core. Sometimes you can hold plank, but you're sinking into your shoulders. Yeah. Your legs are taking some of the weight. Whereas with that, it's so slow and controlled. Yeah. I love it. It's really good. Let's do four more. Okay. So press your pubic bone down. Energize that core. Inhale, lift up slowly. Exhale, take the bum back towards the heels slightly. And then slowly coming all the way down. Take a breath. Press the pubic bone into the mat. Inhale, lift it up. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you're still with us, amazing. This is really hard stuff. It looks so small, but it works you so much. When you come back to neutral, take a breath. Hear my hip click then. You've always got a clicky hip, haven't you? <laughs> I have, yeah. This is our last one now. You ready? <laughs> Press the pubic bone down. Inhale, rising up. Take those hips back. Pause, squeeze, and then gently coming all the way back down. <sighs> now, Do you know what? what? I prefer that for my hips in, instead of plank as well. Do you? Plank there, it ends up taking tension there as well. But you didn't feel tense there, you just no. felt it in your core. No. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's open the shoulders, just interlace the fingers. If that's not there for you, you can put the hands on the mat and squeeze the shoulder blades together, but inhale. Ah, oh, and exhale. Ah, oh. oh, take the bum. <laughs> take the bum back to the heels nice and slow. Take a little child's pose here before we come up. Ah, slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time, come into a seated position, take a breath. Ah. Now we're going to go ahead and come to standing at the front of our mat. So we're going to move through three forward folds. Bend your knees, if that feels good for you, only go to where it feels comfortable. Connect with the feet, legs nice and strong, tailbone tucked, inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, folding forward, spine nice and long. Remember, you can bend the knees if that feels good for you. Exhale, fully. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Take your gaze 
just in front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rising back up. Reach the hands high to the sky. And exhale. Inhale, reach the hands high to the sky. Option, you can come up onto your, fing onto your fingertips, onto your toe tips. <laughs> And then release the heels down as you fold forward. Just come into where feels good for you. Inhale in, lengthen. Exhale in, fold. Inhale, slowly rising up, reaching up, energize. Exhale, release the hands down. Last one. Inhale, reach the hands high. Up onto the tippy toes if that feels good for you. It's a tricky balance. Exhale, heels down, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rising up. Reach up, gaze up, stretch, energized. Exhale. Mm. Nice, Amy, up on the toes. Good balance. <laughs> now we're going to move through some of our sun salutations. Be patient with yourself. If this is the first time you're doing it, it can be really tricky moving the legs back and forth. So just take your time. Ready? Let's inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, folding forward. Bend the knees as much as you want to and bring the hands to the floor. Step the right foot back and drop the knee. Option to place your blanket or your cushion under that right knee. Do you want to? Are your knees feeling okay? I'm all right for now. You can always lay your blanket just in the middle of the mat. Inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, hands down. And then step the left foot back to meet the right. Drop the knees. Engage the core, squeeze the elbows into the body as you bring your chest and chin down. Inhale, coming back up into cobra, just like we were doing before. And then exhale, tuck the toes, come into our full downward dog. Let's take two breaths. Actively push the floor away with the hands, suck the abdominals in and up. Slided. <laughs> Step the right foot forward in between the hands. It doesn't matter how many times you have to step that foot forward as long as it gets there, that's okay. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, hands down. The left foot steps forward now to meet the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up, look up. Exhale, release the hands down. Same thing, second side. Inhale, reach the hands high, look up. Exhale, folding forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Step the left foot back, drop the knee. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, hands down, right foot meets the left. Brief plank and then drop the knees, push the floor, floor away, engage the core, squeeze the elbows in as you come down. Take the chest and the chin down and rise up into your cobra. Tuck the toes and stepping back into our downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a tiny bit, especially if you're slippy on your mat. <laughs> Take a breath. Strong arms, abdominals, sucking in and up. Lift the hips to the sky. Last breath. At the end of your next exhale, step that left foot forward. Drop the right knee. Hands reach up, gaze up. And exhale. Right foot comes to meet the left. Lengthen and then fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. 
gaze up. And then exhale. Now that really is, I think something, um, the sun salutations are so tricky when you're a beginner. Just getting used to bringing the foot forward and listening to all the instructions, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes, doesn't it? Yeah. Should we do one more round? Yeah. yeah? Okay, inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, folding forward, bend the knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, drop the knee. Inhale, reach the hands high, look up. Exhale, hands down, left foot meets the right. Drop the knees, engage the core, squeeze the elbows in as you come down. Inhaling into your cobra. Exhaling into your downward dog. You can always take child's pose if downward dog feels a bit much today. Inhale, breathe deeply. Exhale, relax the face. One more breath. At the end of your next exhale, engage the core. Lift the knee, step the right foot forward, drop the left knee. Inhale, energize, reach the fingertips high to the sky. Exhale, left foot meets the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Let's just take a breath, pause, feel the body. Last round, same thing, opposite side. Inhale, reach the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, left foot steps back, drop the knee. Inhale, reach the hands high, energized. Exhale, hands down, right foot meets the left. Drop the knees, squeeze the abdominals in, squeeze the elbows in as you come down, chest and chin. Rise up, cobra. Tuck the toes, Adha Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. Press the floor away with the hands. Fingertips are energized, arms are strong. Last breath. Bend the left knee. Step it into the core, bring it forward. Drop the right knee and rise up. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hands down, bring the hands to heart centre, pause, take a breath. <sighs> I'm going to move in to our triangle pose now. I'm going to step the right foot to face the back of the mat, so the toes are facing straight ahead. Left toes move in towards the body slightly, pigeon toed at 45 degrees, whatever you want to call it, but make sure the ankle and the foot is in line with the knee, so we're not twisting at the knee. Ground down through the feet, energize the legs, nice, stable foundation. Tuck the tailbone slightly. You like someone just poaching in the bum? Extend the arms, nice and energized through the arms. Inhale, and as you exhale, gently tip to the right. You can just take that right hand to the upper thigh. Reach the left hand high to the sky like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Then reach the right hand actively down towards the mat. Feel the left side waist really energized here. Feel the right side waist working. Staying here in your comfortable position and breathing. If you want to move down a little bit more, you can. But keep reaching up through the left, reaching down with the right, feeling the legs energized. And then relax the face and breathe. Engage the core, slowly coming all the way back up. Then bring the right toes in to face the body a little bit. 
left toes facing the front of the mat. Energize the legs, ground down through the feet, tuck the tailbone, lengthen the arms, inhale, and then exhale. Just take the left hand to the upper thigh first, reach the right hand to the ceiling. Exhale, left hand reaches down, inhale, right hand reaches up. Find that point of resistance and breathe. Inhale, engage the core, rising up. Ah, exhale, release. Come to the front of the mat, take a breath. Ah. Now we're going to come down onto our backs. I'm going to take a little twist. So all the way down, you've got a couple of options. So just do what feels good for you. You can either bring the feet together and let the knees fall to the left. You can support the knees with a cushion. You can bring both knees into the body and allow them to fall to the left. Or you can extend one leg and take your left hand to the outside of the right knee and then allow the right knee to fall over to the left. Whichever version works for you, reach the right hand away, gaze to the right, Breathe deeply. Feel the sensations in the body. As you inhale, feel like you're creating space with the breath. And as you exhale, allow yourself to relax deeper into the pose. Engage the core slowly and with control, coming back to centre. So you're going to do whatever version you did on your opposite side. So I'm going to straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, right hand to the outside of the left knee and twisting over. Gaze in the opposite direction. Actively reach the left hand away from the body. Inhale deeply. Exhale, relax deeper into the pose. Wherever you feel any tension, inhale and breathe into it. Feel as though you're creating space with the breath. Last breath here. Engage the core slowly and with control, returning to centre. Bring both the knees up and gently rock the back from side to side. Now we're going to come into our relaxation. So if you've got a blanket or a jumper that you want to put on, go ahead and do that now. <sighs> Shavasana. This is my favourite bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's everyone's favourite <laughs> bit. No. Oh, so, feet hip distance apart, just let them fold out naturally to the sides. Palms face up. Big deep inhale into the chest. Ah, through the mouth. Inhale, breathe deeply. Ah, last breath. Inhale. Ah, let the head relax, neck relax, shoulders become heavy, arms heavy, connect with the length of the spine and on your next exhale, let the whole of the back relax. Feel the hips heavy, grounding down. Let the right leg become heavy. And the left leg become heavy. Whole body relaxed. Relax the face, the cheeks, the eyes. 
Inhale and breathe into the space in between the eyebrows. Exhale, let the forehead relax. Whole body relax. Take a moment to acknowledge that you are perfect, whole and complete just as you are in this moment. You are perfect, you are whole, you are complete just as you are in this moment. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a gorgeous day. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for teaching me. It was a novelty because we've not been able to do it for ages together in the flesh, have we? Because of COVID. Usually we go in our dressing rooms at work lunch go time wherever we can. yeah always um, and yeah it's been virtual for the last few months so i just absolutely loved seeing you in the flesh and and doing it together oh. and it was the most bizarre experience because <laughs> i didn't really think about the setting until i was lying down looking up in shavasana going why am I at work lying down on the floor with a blanket <laughs> on me? Why is uh, the wolf pack just there and uh, all those cameras and looking at me? And Roxy do what we do in our dressing rooms every day. It's funny though, because I think when you do, when you get into it, you disconnect totally from forgot. that and then I suddenly come back in and I'm like, all oh, the cameras and all the I people totally staring at us. I totally forgot where I was and yeah. I literally could have been just with you in a room. Anywhere. And the breathing is so good for that. You can just escape wherever you are breathe through the moves and it doesn't matter how flexible you are. I mean, I, I've always been quite flexible, so I've not had to improve on that, but the flow and the strength and the- For the, me, the I always think what mind. the biggest challenge for, about yoga for me is, is stay, trying to stay in the present yes. moment. So sink in the breath and the movement, trying to stay connected to the breath, it calms my brain. And, and then I can focus more on the poses. And not trying to be right, not trying Absolutely to be not. the best at Accepting it. Accepting and loving for you. where you are in that moment and going with it. But I like what you said as well about you can do it anywhere. Like yeah. I think that is the thing that's so fantastic about yoga is that once you've got these poses in your body uh, and you can keep doing these classes, they are available online um, for quite a few months. Um, you can take them anywhere. You can do them in your lunch break. You can do them in the evening. You can you do, can them, do them in, in a the hotel morning. room if you're staying away with work. I always, when you said that to me, I was like, yeah, that is an exercise form um genre that you can take anywhere with you on holiday it's good yeah. for you in the sunshine i love doing it on holiday out by the pool and the sun <laughs> when will that be again <laughs> who knows anyway guys thank you thank you so much for joining us today i really hope you've enjoyed these classes as much as i've enjoyed doing them because i really have enjoyed doing them it's been lovely it's been great for me to do a beginner's series because it's reminded me of the fundamentals the breath control, focus, relaxation. And like I said, they're available online. So please go reuse them, share them with friends. It's been so lovely as well to reach out to the Emmerdale community and get different people involved. It's really, really been so lovely. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed them. Thank you so much for joining us guys. Thank you.